How to optimize your industrial processes by using case study tool. The case study tool lets you monitor the steady state response of key variables to changes in your process. From a list of all variables in the case, you designate the independent and dependent variables for each case study. The case study utility can easily manage hundreds of independent and dependent variables and allows you to add and reorder numerous variables simultaneously. Hi says lets you choose from the following case study types. Sensitivity. An isolated variable study which examines one variable at a time. Nested. Examines every possible combination of variable changes. Discrete. Allows you to specify the values of each variable for each case that you want to run. Base and shift. Lets you set a number of base cases and shifts off of the base cases. It's over to you, Mr. Ali. Show us an example. Hi there. As an example, I have selected syn gas production process. In the final reactor, we are doing water gas shift reaction. Mainly, steam is reacting with carbon monoxide to reduce the carbon monoxide percentage in the product stream. If you check the reactor, in this reaction, we are just getting 27% conversion. I want to improve this conversion, so I will perform a case study. In order to run a case study, you will select a case study option from a navigation menu. Add a new case study. Here you have to define the independent variable and dependent variable. Independent variable is the one which is defined by the user and dependent variable is the system calculated value. So my independent variable in this case is the steam mass flow rate. And my dependent variable is the person conversion in the reactor. So my reactor is ERV100. Now I will move to a case study setup. Right now I am focusing on a single variable. So I will choose sensitivity. Define the starting point which is 1000 kg per hour. The ending point is 5000 kg per hour. The step size is 500 kg per hour. Now I just run the study. After a run, you can check the result here. You can see that with the change in steam flow rate, there is a change in percent conversion as well. So at 4500, I am getting the max value, which is 99.96. If you want to see the plot, the plot option is also available here. Now I go back to my main simulation file and just modify the value for the mass flow, which is 4500 now. Now I will check the conversion value over here it is 99.96 percent conversion. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn new skills online, Join our expert lead training courses.